Well hello there you wonderful fans of Alien and I'm very glad you dropped back in to see me on LV426 because we have some exciting news regarding Alien Romulus and that is in a nutshell they have finished production on the movie as of July the 3rd. So in other words they are done filming in Budapest and all the hard working actors can now go back to their mansions and take a well deserved break for a few months while the director and editors continue to slave away to finish this film. So this news comes from the director's Instagram, the director being Fede Alvarez. He simply said, time for a celebratory cigar, it's a wrap. Honestly, I can't tell if he looks pissed off or pleased with himself from this photo. I do hope that's his happy with himself expression and posture, otherwise we can probably expect a bad movie one way or the other. But you know what, I think he's pleased and just chilling now that the kids have left the set and he can finish the film in peace. We are still over a year away from the film's release, but at least we can now feel a tiny bit closer to that August the 16th date. The even better news is that Disney is releasing the film in cinemas for a full theatrical run, as well as on a streaming platform, Hulu. I do love this combination because when I go to see the film in the cinema, and I absolutely will, I don't care what anyone says, it's another entry into the Alien universe with at least some potential to be good, then I will be there, albeit with some potential of being massively disappointed. But if it is decent, then I can watch it again online the next day in the comfort of my own home, so I do respect the decision for allowing us the option to be able to see it on the big screen. Even if it has no bearing on whether the film will actually be well received or not, I think at this stage Disney is just doing what they can to make some cash back after a continuous series of woke flops. But I do hope the film is R rated. You can certainly scare your audience without showing blood or harsh language, but I would hazard a guess that most of us Alien fans have a particular set of expectations when it comes to these films, and once you've seen what a xenomorph is capable of, you can never unsee it. It was actually the fast paced violence and ferocity of the pale looking aliens in Covenant that impressed me quite a bit and I thought was actually one of the strengths of that film. You really felt that humans were utterly helpless against such speed and power from these creatures. But anyway, we digress. Another quick mention is that they will be sticking with the name Alien Romulus as the title for the film. Uh, great, I guess. This could mean there is meaning in the name Romulus and how it connects to the plot of the film, but it's really not important to me at this stage. All my excitement now I feel will hinge on the first trailer we get, possibly near the end of the year perhaps. As even just a sneak peek trailer will offer us enough to decide on what type of alien flick this is going to be. As I said in my previous video, it needs to be violent and bloody, it's just got to have that edge, you know? And I do have some faith that Fede Alvarez's is pitched to Disney on what this alien story is about may have inspired enough competent writing for this film to have a solid story and therefore a winner already in the bag. Now I know from my last update video on Romulus, many of the comments from you guys expressed a lot of distrust for Disney on the whole, not just this film. A few people expressing pure hatred for what they have done to some IPs and potentially what they will continue to do with the Alien franchise in particular. I certainly can't argue with any of those points as I feel the same way in regards to the abhorrent destruction of Star Wars. Well, everything apart from this series and or which I thought was an absolute masterpiece. However, successful remakes or reboots as well as sequels and prequels do happen, even from Disney. The Predator prequel Prey was a success. It wasn't anywhere near close to the original and nowhere near as fun and wacky as Predator 2, but I liked it. It felt like a small independent film that had some heart, you know? So with lessons learned and some better collaboration with interesting directors that have a new type of story to tell in an existing universe like Fede perhaps. You could say I'm becoming more and more hopeful that at the very least Romulus will have decent levels of tension and gore, as well as some nice looking sci-fi scenery and a modern take of what a Wayland yutani colony settlement would look like. They may go full sci-fi and futuristic aesthetics like what they did with Prometheus and Covenant, but maybe not. Our only glimpse of the set design we have so far is from the still image with the facehugger clutching the clapboard. 
In the background we see a set that is very reminiscent of the corridors that were present in the first two movies, but with a slightly modern take and less of the metal grate in appearance. So that's fine, I'm not going to invest too much thought into appearances until we have our trailer. But it is important, however, that the film doesn't look too clean and clinical and tries to stay away from CGI as much as possible, as I've always thought this approach in horror, unfortunately, provides a sort of safety net for the audience and prevents us from fully believing and investing in what we see. Well, my mind goes off on a tangent once again, but that's why I make these videos, as I love to express my thoughts on these movies I grew up with, and hopefully you'll take the time to chat with me in the comments and tell me your wishes for these new films as well. So what else? I mean, I wonder how large the colony base will be and how many settlers and families will be present at the station. The quote that came from the Hollywood Reporter a while back simply stated that a group of young people find themselves on a distant colony, fighting for their lives against the Xenomorph, but it doesn't specify if they are part of a larger group or just a handful of youngsters alone for some strange reason. Maybe they're scientists, not just simply colonists. It is possible that they are part of the Wayland yutani research and development team for its weapons division. Maybe the studio is trying to make amends for Alien 4 after all these years. We know the cast are young, so I'm a little worried we are going to see what happens in most other generic sci-fi films and TV where the kids have somehow lived long enough to learn everything they conveniently need to know about science and engineering to get by just fine on a distant world. But as formulas go, if their numbers are few, then the scenes could be very tense and scary with high stakes, like what we experienced aboard the Nostromo in Alien. If they are a large colony, then that could imply mass killings at the hands of the Xenomorph, or possibly a Xenomorph hive. Bees, man. Bees have hives. We have no idea yet if there will be any form of marines in the film, so it's hard to make any comparisons to aliens just yet. In fact, very little is known at all about this film so far, as the studio and everyone involved are keeping their cards very close to their chest. I know it's hard, but forget about Disney just for a second and try to stay positive with me for a bit. We all know how protective Ridley Scott is of his alien baby, and how sometimes he can be a little unsupportive when asked about other alien movies or the upcoming Alien TV series, like when he described the series as never going to be as good as the original. I mean, <laughs> wow, speak your mind Ridley. An absolute legend though. But it is interesting, with the way Alien Covenant felt seemingly abandoned with no news of a third entry to tie off the recent films as a trilogy, then as we now know, Fede Alvarez approached Ridley some years back with the pitch for Romulus. A pitch that obviously impressed Ridley and his Scott Free Productions company enough to get it accepted with the big wigs over at Fox Disney. This all makes me wonder if perhaps it is not so much of a standalone movie as was announced, but rather there may be at least some connective tissue that ties in with the other films. Romulus is set between Alien and Aliens, but is also worth mentioning the film begins many years after the events of Covenant. I always found it odd and equally annoying that the story of David and his doomed crew was just left in the wind with no announced conclusion to his story. So would it be fair to say that if Romulus is somewhat successful, assuming then the film draws in a younger audience that didn't grow up with aliens as well as pleasing the long time alien community of fans like myself, then if there are ties to the other films, or even some kind of revelation as to the events of David's story, could Romulus be the stepping stone slash standalone movie that the studio needs to then greenlight and finance the next part of Ridley's ongoing story in this universe? I wish I knew what Disney had in mind for this very precious IP, precious for most of us, I would say. We also cannot forget about the TV series that will be set long before the events of Romulus, at the time of Ripley's birth in fact, but I do find it to be a bit of a stretch for the series to be linked in any way shape or form to the Romulus movie. So we'll leave that for now on a positive note, until of course we get some more news or plot details, or possibly some more set photos to talk about. My brain seems to be very geared these days to expect disappointment with new films from big IPs, but weirdly I'm still looking forward to Alien Romulus. 
So let me know what you guys think in the comments as I genuinely do love to read and reply to all of them and in the meantime take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon.